What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarter. Let's get right off into this. And let me just say to this. I don't like this tournament. I didn't like it from the very beginning, man. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Because I don't like the roster that was put in play. I think it was very biased. Uh, 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 it don't have the balance that's needed, especially when you're competing for $25,000. If you're going to compete for $25,000 and put together a tournament, then this has to be fair for all the participants at hand. Everything about this is not fair, from the setup of the rosters to the judges that was appointed, even to um, the time they have to write and do things. I don't like this at all. This was very tacky, very poorly arranged and put together. Seemed like a rush project. The only thing that really stands out in this is actually $25,000. That's the only thing stand out in this. It don't even seem like none of the battle rappers' quality even rank up to even be established at making over $25,000 in their in they entire career. For the most part, no shot, no disrespect to them, but this is poor marketing whatsoever. And I do not like how this was established and put together. It's very Midwest bias, very Midwest bias. All the Midwest rappers, man, in the game that was not chosen to participate in this competition that could have actually helped and branded them. This is horrible. I'm talking about horrible and it's very, very unacceptable. I didn't like this at all, at all. And this stuff is crazy, man. No, 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 no. Yeah, we getting down tonight. No, no, no. It's very unacceptable, man. When you think about it, this is this is unacceptable. Where the killer be? Showstopper. Where the um. Killer B, Showstopper, Pyrex, Piranha, um, LL Coogee, True Foe, um, Michael Ice, um, Ace, uh, Bankhead. It, it's all these Midwest killers wasn't invited to the dance. No, man, no. No. No, 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 no. Didn't like this at all, man. It was bias out the gate. And it just let me know that it's like some type of secret thing going on. See, here's the thing where, again, I peep game out the gate. I'm sorry. I'm just an older brother. I peep it out the gate. You know what I'm saying? And that comes from my experience. And I know when money is involved like this, even though battle rappers are being put in play. Favors are being owed for being put in play. I know this. I don't care what nobody say. Favors are being owed for being put in play to even compete for the paper. And that let me know that the people who behind it, they ain't really got no paper like that. Them dudes ain't got no paper like that. That paper getting put up by smack them who got paper. But the guys who being put in play to set it up, they ain't got no paper like that. They ain't just pulling out 25000 So in they picking and choosing, this is where they also capitalize on cons and pros. Who don't know that? Don't forget I looked out for you. Don't forget I put you up in there. You, you get this paper. Same thing with the judges. Same thing with the judges. Make no mistake about it. It's the same exact way. Now, I'm saying this to say this on some real stuff. Because of that, what happens is already no favors are being owed and it's tacky all the way around from the arranging to the judging. And everybody hands is involved. Everybody hands is involved. Except, except for maybe Smack and Beasley. But everything under Shifty Dillon. It's obvious. This reminded me of the same thing that happened at the BET situation. 
how that was put together. This, this isn't put together like the same exact way. There was a straight up railroad set up for NWX to win. Who don't know that? You throwing a battle rap, you throwing a battle rap tournament with only four MCs. Shotgun Shug Geechee, who have nothing to do with each other, going up against two NWX members. T Top and DNA. And who was the finalist? T Top and DNA. And if y'all was to bet who was going to win, who was going to win? NWX. If you're putting four people together in a tournament, you can't have two from the same squad. You got to have uh, four people from four different things. You either have one Dot Mob, one NWX, one Cave Gang, one Team Homie or something like that. You don't have two NWX in a four-man tournament. Now that means they got a 50% chance to win rather than a quarter percent chance to win. You double their chances over everybody else. And what would they do as being the same team? They're going to write together. Why wouldn't we? If I win, you won. You won, you won. At least we both get the 25 grand. That's common sense for any squad, any team. You wouldn't do that for your team? If me and my guy are from the same squad and team, and we're in a four-man four tournament for 25000 what you think we going to be doing and we together all the time? What? Like, man, one of us got to one of us gotta win this thing, man. What you got? Yeah, that's cold, but say it like this. Mm, what you got? Oh, I got it. While the other two just working by themselves. Come on, man. Get up out of here. Man, get up out of here with that trash. No. No, 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 no. Same thing right here in this tournament. Horrible. The selections is horrible and the judging is horrible. And the uh, it, it, it's foul from beginning to end. Even Jay Blackman and Henny who hosting it. No. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Because what I saw Jay Black just do... What I saw him just do, that was horrible. That was horrible. And I'm going to talk about that in another blog. Y'all really need to get a hold of this right now. And it is time, still time to get control and a hold of this right now. This seems so rigged. It's so clear. Everybody can see it. Everybody in battle rap can see it for the most part. For the most part. Ain't nobody stupid. Y'all ain't pulling the wool over nobody's eyes. And I'm finna break this whole thing down piece by piece. And it's battle truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Watch this. <laughs> 